Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Soil here, and today we're gonna explore 5 best indicators for intraday trading. Stay tuned and let's get started. The first one, VWAP, Volume Weighted Average Price, one of the best and most effective and commonly used indicator for intraday trading. It's an overlay indicator on the price chart, kind of a similar to moving average but it's totally different and as the name indicates, volume also play a role in this indicator. VWAP is exclusively for intraday trading, meaning that it's not available for example on one day or weekly time frames because this indicator is made for day trading and the calculation of this indicator starts from the beginning of each day separately for 24 hours markets like forex and crypto that are usually based on utc time zone the calculation of vwap for each day is started when a new day actually starts based on utc so pay attention to this and check what time zone your exchange or broker uses this indicator works well in lower time frames and the longer the time frame the less reliable and effective it becomes 15 minutes and lower are the most commonly used time frames for this indicator the vwap line acts as a support or resistance level for example when the price is already above the vwap line vwap line acts as a support level because vwap line shows the total average price for the day weighted by volume which buyers see that level as a fair value to buy so they start to buy when the price reaches to vwap line on the other hand when the price is already below the vwap line it acts as a resistance level because as i said vwap line shows volume weighted average of price for the day which sellers uh, see that level a good price to sell so they start to sell another signal that we can get from vwap is breakout generally when the price goes above the vwap line it means that the bulls were strong enough and managed to push the price higher than the average value so when the price breaks above the vwap line it's a buy signal or it's a signal for opening a long position and similarly when the price goes below the vwap line it indicates that the bears were strong enough and managed to drive the price lower than the average value so when the price breaks below the vwap line it's a sell signal or a signal for opening a short position another signal that we can get from vwap is sharp moves far from vwap which means that having a sharp steep move indicates that the price is far from its average value in that day and there is a possibility that the price is gonna fall the same goes when the price moves sharply below the vwap line indicating the price is far below the average price and this can show the possibility that the price may advance and reach to its average value of the day which is vwap VWAP line. VWAP is a great indicator for intraday trading because it takes into account both of price and volume together and it gives more weight to price levels that have higher volume so you can understand the price points of interest in the market in that day. I have a guide to VWAP, the link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later because there I explain VWAP in more details with the important points that you must consider when working with this awesome indicator. The second one, Super Trend Indicator. It's a very popular trend following indicator that works effectively well in intraday time frames. Similar to moving averages, it's overlaid on the price chart but with continuous areas of red and green color that actually shows if the price is advancing or declining. When a candle closes above the red line, the Super Trend line goes below the candle and it becomes green and also the area in between. And similarly, when a candle closes below the green line, the Super Trend trend line goes above the candle and it becomes red and also the area in between. These crossing of candles actually the color changing of the super trend indicator gives us a signal that the direction of the market is going to change. One important point that you must pay attention is that this is a trend following indicator and it works well when the market is trending and it doesn't work well when the market is in a trading range. So by the help of other tools and concepts and conducting a multiple time frame analysis you must find the overall short term trend of the market and you should enter in trades that are in the direction of the market. Many day traders use super trend for stop loss purposes. In the calculation of super trend, ATR is also used, uh, which if you're familiar with ATR, you know that ATR can be used for setting trailing stop loss. When the super trend line is horizontal, it shows that a correction or pullback is happening. And after that, when the pullback ends, the super trend line also gets back to the prior direction, the same direction with the price. And below these horizontal levels, are good places to move your stop loss gradually and lock in your profits. I have a video about super trend with more details and examples. The link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later and learn this excellent trend following indicator. 
The third one is OBV, Unbalance Volume, excellent volume-based indicator for tracking smart money. By the help of OBV, you can discover when the smart money, uh, which is from institutional traders and investors, is active and flowing in the market. If you can determine when the smart money is flowing in the market and in what situation or direction, which usually happens when the market is calm, so you can identify changes in the direction of the market in the early stages of developing. The most important signal that OBV gives us about flowing the smart money is divergence. When the price makes lower low or possibly moving flat, but in the same period OBV makes higher low, this shows that the buying volume is building and a reversal in the direction of the price is possible to happen. And on the other hand, when the price makes higher high or possibly moving flat, but OBV makes lower high, this divergence shows that selling volume is building and declining of the price is possibly going to happen. OBV is one of the greatest indicators for tracking the smart money and discovering when a buying or selling volume is building while the price is showing something else. I have a complete guide to OBV, the link also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later and learn how to use this powerful indicator for tracking the smart money. The next one, ADX, Average Directional Index, one of the best and most effective indicators for evaluating a strength or weakness of a trend. By the help of ADX, you can find out if the market is trending or not so that you can switch between your trend following and non-trend following strategies. ADX line, which is the pink line, is a non-directional indicator and it only shows the strength of a trend regardless of the direction whether the price is trending up or down. When it's above 25, the trend is strong enough to use trend following strategies and when it's below 20 there is no trend in the market and no trend strategies must be used. ADX is usually plotted with minus directional indicator the orange line and plus directional indicator the blue line and together they form a trading system. The crossing of these two lines can provide us trading signals when plus DI crosses above minus DI it's a buy signal and when it crosses below minus DI it's a sell signal. There are many important points regarding ADX and interpretation and trading decisions based on these signals which I completely explained them in another video. The link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later and learn how you can use this effective indicator for discovering if the market is trending or not and potential signals on the direction. And the next one is EMA, Exponential Moving Average, which is probably the most commonly used indicator in all financial markets and any trading style. There are different types of moving averages as you know, but EMA is suggested for day trading because it better and faster responds to the price action. There are many use cases for moving averages like identifying direction of the market, price crossovers, double crossovers, triple crossovers, and many more. And moving averages usually play complementary roles role in many trading strategies. I have a comprehensive guide to moving averages and every detail and possible trading signals are explained there with lots of examples. The link is also in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it because moving average is the most simple and very popular indicator and it plays a role in many trading strategies and also it's a base for many other indicators. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me i'll answer your questions as soon as possible if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video see you guys in next video and good luck with your trading